Hello everybody, uh, this could be a fairly detailed video this one, we're going to make a game over screen. So in the previous video, we set a lives variable and every time the bat hit one of the ghouls, or vice versa, um, we'd lose a life. So it started off with three lives and we've gone to, um, we, we'd set it so it go to zero, but potentially at the moment it could go to less than zero and you just keep playing the game, um, which is not really what we're after, okay? So what we need to do is we're going to make a game over screen. So first thing we're going to do is click on the stage, backdrops, and then we're going to make a new backdrop. Now I've already made one. Um, it's really, really simple. It's this game over one right here. There we go, if you can see that, okay. Um, now what I then need to do is make a button. So I've made mine really simplistic. Try and make it a little bit nicer. My mine's very plain, just a, a purple screen. Um, try and make yours a bit more exciting than that if you could. Next, we need to make a button. Um, we're gonna make a new sprite. So I'm just gonna paint the sprite. Again, if you've already got a pre-saved asset like a button, you can use that. It's a good way to do it then. Um, so let's have a look. I've got my screen there to make a button. Um, in fact, actually, I think I'm just going to choose from the library though, um, and I'm going to choose that one. Again, if you've already got one, this is the time to import it using this tool right here. Upload sprite from file. Um, so I've now got my button free, which I will click on costumes for. There we go. And there's its costume. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because it's not enough or it's not big enough of a size right there and then um so i'm going to add some text to it i'm going to select what color my text will be uh i might make it white why not um there we go so i will say now this is going to be a return to title screen button um, so when you press that, when you've got game over, you're going to return to title screen. Or oh, that's the idea anyways. Um, so there we go. I've now got my button. Uh, for some reason, I've got another sprite there as well. Um, let's get rid of that. Is it that one? I can't really see that one. Uh, delete. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Delete. Oh, there we go. Right, I've got a return to title screen button. Um, I probably don't need that just for the instant moment though, but just as long as you know that we've got a return to title screen button right there. We've also got everything else on there. We're going to need to clean that up pretty soon, okay. Um, but first, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the stage and then we're going to have a look at the scripts for that. Now, this is what we want to be adding in right there. Okay, I've already built it. Um, we can take a look at it and we can split it up and break it down, okay? So we already had, uh, when the backdrop switches to level one, we're gonna set three lives. Now we want a forever loop and we're gonna say if lives equals zero. Uh, so you can get that with the operator block. That, that green one there is that one right there and it lets you snap things into place on both of them. So I got my lives because I set it as a variable in the previous video. Go back and watch that if you need to. Uh, however, we've got what we've got so far. Um, so if lives does get to zero, what do we want to do? We want to switch the backdrop to the game over backdrop. So I named that backdrop. If you look at that backdrop, I named it game over. I typed in game over in that box right there. Okay, so I need to switch the backdrop game over. Now I also want to do this. I also want to broadcast message one. Um, it's a preset thing. It's 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 saved as message one right there. Um, so if you look right there, um, I didn't type message one in. It just was already there. So on events, you've got when I receive message one, broadcast message one, um, or broadcast message one and wait. Um, so I have got uh, broadcast message one. And then you see the next line of or the next section of code. When I receive message one, what am I going to do? Well, we're going to go back to title screen. Um, so let's have a look. Let's see if that works. So if I go back there and oh, there you go. You'll notice I've, I've still got it up there. So we would say as well, what would we say? Let's see. We want to make sure it disappears. So events when, oh no, in fact, actually, when backdrop switches to game over, but ties the screen, then we are going to hide 
Uh, where's the looks? Oh, but I need to be on the sprite though. Um, so I need to get rid of that code that I just put in as well, really. Um, first bit of code for this, so when backdrop switches to game over, we are going to hide. There we go. Um, oh, that's that's not even right either. Uh, we're going to go back to t when backdrop switches title screen, we're going to hide because we don't want that to be on the title screen. And we also don't want it to be when we press the green flag. So when green flag clicked, make sure we are hidden. And then um, maybe while I'm here, we might as well just have when backdrop switches to game over. Then we're going to show this particular sprite right there. Okay, so let's give it a test. Um, so the main part of code that's going to initiate this so is on the stage and it's this get rid of that for now it's this part right here so we're setting lives to free when we get to level one then we're saying forever if lives equals zero then we're going to switch the backdrop game over and we're going to broadcast message one out so um in fact actually i'm not sure i can't remember why that's there now let's get rid of that we'll see if that causes any problems later on so switch to backdrop game over and broadcast message one. Now on my button that I've got there, when we switch to, to uh, when the backdrop switches to game over, we are going to show up. Let's give it a go. Let's see how it runs. So start new game. There we go. And then say for example, if I let that ghost gets me and that one and that one, there we go. Don't worry about the fact that the ghost is still there whatsoever. Um, but we've got a game over screen now. Now if I click back on that one. Oh, not doing anything whatsoever. So that's hopefully going to make us go back to the title screen. Um, so how are we going to make it go back to the title screen? Ignore, glitch, ignoring on the background. Um, well, let's click on that button and we'll say events. And we should hopefully get be getting the hang of this now and not just copying um, exactly where my cursor moves. So we've got an option. When this sprite clicked, what we're going to do, we're going to go looks. And we're going to say, are we going to go looks? No, we're not. We're going to go control or events even. And we're going to go switch to, oh, I've completely lost it now. Um, there we go. It was on the first one I was, I was on for. Um, switch to backdrop title screen. There we go. So it's very logical. All this. It all does make um, great sense, really. So I'm starting a game. And the ghost is going to get me. And it's going to get me again. I've got only got one life left. If I lose that life, then there we go. Um, I've got my title screen right now. Okay, so if I click on that button, there we go. And I'm back to title screen again, um, which is quite nice. Obviously, I've got apples and ghouls chasing after me, um, but let's forget about that for the moment, okay? Right, in fact, let's not forget about that for the moment. What we need to do, um, we need to um, make sure on each one of these characters we have a, a little bit of code. Let's give us a bit more space. A little bit of code that just says control, uh, our events, sorry. Um, when I receive message one, so that's a message that just a... a Imagine a message has been shouted out, somebody shouting message one, and then whenever uh, this bat hears message one, whatever that may be, just the words message one, what's he going to do? He's going to hide like that, okay? Now I'm going to try and drag that code onto that apple, onto that apple, that one, um, that one, maybe a couple of ghouls as well. Um, I'll try and remember where I'm up to. Uh, I should have probably done that a bit better um but let's stop let's play let's see what happens now okay so hopefully half the apples and the ghoul will disappear so lost a life lost a life lost a life there we go now you'll notice now that i'm on the title screen half the apples have gone and that ghoul so now when i return we've just got that going on now okay oh that seems to have broken a little bit um, we'll see that in a second, but we get in there though. Um, so let's see what was that code that we had. It was this one, wasn't it? And I think I was up to there. Um, so when I receive message on hide, there we go. I think um, that was around about it. So let's stop. Let's play. Start a new game. There we go. So I'm missing one apple there. Um, right, why is that not working now? So when I click on this one, um, when this spray is clicked, switch backdrop to title screen, and then on my stage, on my title screen, 
let's have a look. Um, if ah, so lives is still set at zero, so that's why it keeps going back to this one. Um, I didn't know that. That's just something that I've looked at now. So run through the code. So I did that, and I switched it back to to title screen, and then it says when backdrop switches to level one, set lives to three. But we're not actually there yet, either, are we? So let's go back to this button. So when you press on the button. Um, I'm also going to set lives back to free, I think. So data, set lives to free. There we go. That should hopefully fix everything. Um, there's only one way to find out though. So start a new game. Let's select the ghosts, take all the lives. One, two, three. There we go. Um, now I've got a return set soon that I need to sort that out. Oh. Uh, there we go. And because the lives has gone back to free now, then it's not just going through that loop. Um, so that's the longest video I've done so far in this playlist. I hope it was useful. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be looking at how to add another level. So the main things um, that you need to kind of pay attention to, let me just click through here as well. Where is Steve? Hide, 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 hide. That one, that's one that we need it. Um, so drag that also onto there. There we go. Um, the big thing to think about is when you're making whole new stages, you need to apply lots of things. So hopefully now I've got that when I receive message one, then when I can just do the next time I make a new level, which will be similar way to how to I make a game over screen, it will just be broadcast message one at the end of it. And then everything will just disappear for that level as well. We'll see how that works though. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.